in November 14, 1944, uh, when uh, the Russian army raided our villages in our homeland. And our uh, great parents were given only two hours to prepare. And the reason was uh, they were evacuating us from our homeland because there was a war coming, or for other reasons. And uh, imagine when you are given only two hours in the middle of a night to prepare, what are you going to pack? Uh, are you going to pack your kids? Are you going to pack food? So they had no idea if they're going to return, if they're going to come back. So they took whatever they had, and which was their kids, and they were loaded in cargo trains. The trains that usually transit uh, animals or uh, lumber or anything uh, besides passengers, besides uh, human beings. So eight families per train were loaded in the cargo trains and the whole journey took about a month or a month and a half. In the Siberian cold, uh, our parents, our grandparents were deported to uh, uh, Central Asia, to various countries in uh, Central Asia, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan. Uh, during transit, 17,000 people died from hunger, uh, from uh, cold, from uh, various diseases. And uh, still today, uh, it's been 76 years, uh, we still have not returned to our homeland, uh, Ahiska. In, uh, as you see on the other longer map, uh, it, it, the, logo map. The, the longer map shows uh, our journey uh, until today. In 1944, we were deported. Uh, we gathered in uh, Central Asia, as I said, in Uzbekistan. Uh, and there are some dates. There are some dates that show on the map, uh, 1960, 1968, 1956, 1968, 1974. Uh, these are important dates because our people, uh, ever since they've been deported, they were fighting for their rights. They wanted to return to their uh, homeland. In 1956, they did this. Uh, uh, what happened was when they lived in Central Asia, uh, they could live there, but they could not even visit their relatives that lived across the street. Uh, and then people rioted, people protested. Uh, in 1968, they kind of gave them a little bit of easement, uh, but still, you could not return back to your homeland. In 1978, this continued until 1988, because as our people lived there, uh, they, we had our national heroes, they, we had our uh, maybe politicians, we, ha we had our uh, professors. Uh, because uh, due to their respect, we were given some rights, but we still could not return to our homeland. And yes, finally, sir. in 1989, we were deported again yes, from Uzbekistan. And that's, we okay. spread out to nine different countries, just like today. Like 20 minutes. We still live in nine different countries and we want to return to our homeland just no, like the big the sign says here we want to legally return to our homeland Ahiska, which is located uh, within uh, georgia borders today uh, we just want to return there that, that's all we want we want to legally return to our homeland that we peacefully lived for uh, for many centuries